Let us study chemistry together with CBSE Chemistry Tips and Tricks. Fill in the blanks in the following conversions. First one is 1 kilometer is equal to dash millimeter that is equal to dash picometer. See for doing this first of all you must know what is kilo. What is kilo? Kilo means 10 raised to 3. Kilo is represented by letter K. Second one is milli. Milli is what? 10 raised to minus 3. Small letter M. Okay. And then pico. What is pico? 10 raised to minus 12. For doing the first question, you must know this data. That is very important. First question is, 1 kilometer is equal to dash millimeter. See, I am going to explain a simple trick. Listen carefully. So, what you have to do is, you have to write 1 kilometer is equal to 1 kilometer. That is correct, right? Now, also remember, if, if I multiply a variable x into 1 by 1, what you will get? x only, right? Again, if you multiply with 1 by 1, again, what you are going to get? x only. So, if you multiply a particular number with 1 by 1, you will get the same number that you keep in mind. So, what is our task? Our task is to replace this kilometer with millimeter. Right. Listen carefully. Okay. For removing kilometer, see, I am going to write a fraction in such a way that kilometer is there on the denominator. And on numerator, see, what is kilo? Kilo is 10 raised to 3, right? So, on numerator, that kilo, I am writing in the terms of 10 raised to 3. And then what you can see, meter. See, I am writing the same meter here. So, 1 kilometer into 10 raised to 3 meter by kilometer. 10 raised to 3 is kilo. Meter, kilometer by kilometer. So, what, I, what exactly I did? X into 1 by 1. Correct, right? Hope you understand what I am saying. Now, see, I am cutting kilometer and kilometer. Now, which is the unit you have? Meter, right? Now, we are supposed to convert meter to millimeter. Okay, so for that purpose, write meter on denominator and millimeter on numerator. Now, what is milli? Milli is 10 raised to minus 3. Correct, right? So, write that 10 raised to minus 3 on denominator. Correct? So, check it again. Millimeter. 10 raised to minus 3 is what? Milli. So, millimeter. Numerator millimeter. Denominator also, also millimeter. So, actually, what is that? 1 by 1. Correct, right? Now, what you can do? You can cut meter and meter. Now, check what is that? 1 into 10 raised to 3 into... This 10 raised to minus 3 will go up, right? So, what is that? 10 raised to 3. What is that unit left? Millimeter. So, what is our answer? 10 raised to 6 millimeter. Hope all of you understand. So, we got our answer. 10 raised to 6 millimeter. So, 1 kilometer is equal to 10 raised to 6 millimeter. See, we got the answer, right? Now, you can convert 1 kilometer to picometer or 10 raised to 6 millimeter to picometer. According to your wish, you can choose that. Okay, anyhow, see, I am choosing 10 raised to 6 millimeter to picometer. You have to follow the same pattern. What is the pattern? 10 raised to 6 millimeter is equal to 10 raised to 6 millimeter. Correct? Then what is our task? To remove millimeter. So you have to write a fraction in such a way that millimeter comes on the denominator. Now what is milli? Milli is 10 raised to minus 3, right? Milli is 10 raised to minus 3. Then just copy this meter to here. So on numerator and denominator, same thing, right? What is that? 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Milli is again 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Okay, which is actually 1. Okay, now into. To what unit we are supposed to convert? Picometer. Correct. Now you can cut millimeter, millimeter. Now we are supposed to remove meter and replace it with picometer. Okay, so you can write what? Meter on the denominator. And see, this is our required answer that you can write on the numerator. Now what is pico? That is 10 raised to, it is the, here, right? 10 raised to minus 12. So, 10 raised to minus 12. Now, check. On numerator, you have pico. Here also, 10 raised to minus 12 pico. Meter, meter. So, actually, it is what? 1 only, right? 
okay so now what you can do you can cut meter meter so what is your answer 10 raised to 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 10 raised to 12 on calculating what we will get 10 raised to 15 picometer okay so we got the complete answer for the first question one kilometer is equal to 10 raised to 6 millimeter that is equal to 10 raised to 15 picometer hope all of you understand next is 1 milligram to dash kilogram same pattern 1 milligram is equal to 1 milligram see our first task is to remove milligram so that you can write on the denominator now what is milli 10 raised to minus 3 that you can write on the numerator then gram right now check now you can see 10 raised to minus 3 gram milli is again 10 raised to minus 3 gram so it is 1 actually right now see we can cut milligram milligram now we are supposed to replace what gram to kilogram so for that purpose write gram on the denominator and kilogram on the numerator what is kilo that is 10 raised to 3 now check kilogram kilo means what 10 raised to 3 gram gram correct so actually we multiply with 1 now you cut gram and gram so what you're getting you can you will get 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 into this 10 raised to 3 will come up so 10 raised to minus 3 kilogram so what you're getting 10 raised to minus 6 kilogram okay 10 raised to minus 6 kilogram hope all of you understand now we have to do the second part now we can either convert 1 milligram to dash nanogram or 10 raised to minus 6 kilogram to dash nanogram that is your choice now i am choosing 1 milligram to dash nanogram okay let us see 1 milligram is equal to dash nanogram so what do you have to do 1 milligram is equal to 1 milligram our task is to replace mg so that you can write on the denominator correct now you can write gram on numerator see now milli what is milli 10 raised to minus 3 correct now milligram milligram you can cut now what is our next task you are supposed to convert gram to nanogram okay see for that purpose you must know what is nano nano is what 10 raised to minus 9 right now what is our task our task is to replace gram with nanogram okay so you have to write gram on new denominator and nanogram on numerator now what is nano it is 10 raised to minus 9 if you check the fraction you can see it is 1 only nano means 10 raised to minus 9 gram gram right so it's 1 in total okay now you can cut see you can cut gram and gram correct so what is left 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 10 raised to 9 nanogram so what is that 10 raised to 6 nanogram so we got the answer 10 raised to 6 nanogram hope all of you understand last question is what 1 milliliter is equal to dash liter same pattern 1 milliliter is equal to 1 milliliter correct now we want to replace milliliter right okay so write milliliter on the denominator and write liter on the numerator now what is milli milli is 10 raised to minus 3 right 10 raised to minus 3 correct so check what we did 10 raised to minus 3 liter milliliter both are same 10 raised to minus 3 is milli liter liter so we actually multiply with, with one right okay so now you can cut milliliter so what you're getting 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 liter or simply 10 raised to minus 3 liter so you can write like that 10 raised to minus 3 liter so we got the first part now second part for doing the last part see we must know one important fact that is 1 liter is equal to 1 decimeter cube okay so 10 raised to minus 3 liter will be what 10 raised to minus 3 decimeter cube finish clear right 1 liter represent 1 decimeter cube 
So 10 raised to minus 3 liter represent 10 raised to minus 3 decimeter cube straight one. Hope all of you understand.